Hello everyone and welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. We, started, we decided to go ahead with uh, changing the design of our pens around and uh, using, right, using the rice holes as bedding. This is an example of the pen we've got. I'm trying to show the angle here, the slope that we're dealing with from one side of the pen to the other. It just makes it too hard for the, the boar uh, to get his business done when there's that much angle on the floor. It's just too slippery. And uh, we're trying to save water and time with the pressure washer. Uh, and if we put the rice holes in, uh, then both those problems will largely be eliminated. So we're going to show you the whole process of uh, making this, of converting this pen over. We're going to make it, uh, it's, a, it's one large pen now, we're going to convert it into two uh, smaller uh, fairing pens for the sows. So we'll, we'll leave that gate there intact and we'll make another gate right here and we'll add a center a center dividing wall down that way. So we're going to bust the concrete out and dig down about uh, 14, 16 inches uh, to make room for the rice holes. Alright, busting the cement out now. Taking a little break. The cement's not very deep, it's only about an inch and a half deep. So it's not too hard to break it out. So we're going to break all this out, break all this out and take it down about uh, 14, 18 inches and fill it back up with Rice saw, rice hulls, and we'll make it a double pin like we did on that one. All right, I'm actually standing down in uh, half of a, half of the next pin that we're doing here. Uh, this is the this is the level of the cement here, and so we're down about 18 inches. This has all been dug out. We're only down about uh, 12 inches on this side because that's how much difference in the level of the floor from one side of the pen to the other. And that illustrates the, uh, the slope that was uh, in the flooring of these pens and why it wasn't working too well. Maybe you can, you can clearly see that slope in the next pen over. Uh, the left side being high and the right side being low. And it also slopes down towards me in that same pen. So that's the same thing we had in this one. So we're going to build this little corner right here up into a feeding trough. And that's what we'll uh, feed the pigs in. That'll be, their, uh, that'll be their dinner plate. We've done the same thing on the other side. You can see on this side, uh, that's the old drain right there. And so on this end of the pen, we've only come down about four, four or five inches. But we'll still, we'll still be able to put uh, the rice hulls in uh, for bedding, and uh, we think it'll work well. Something that we're doing a little bit different than. Uh, most do here. Uh, the common practice when you use rice hulls uh, here in the Philippines and this pin here is pretty close to what it's going to look like. And that's the rice hulls and the little feeding uh, tray there. So that's that's a general idea of what we're going for here. Uh, this one here isn't complete yet. Uh, because uh, it's got the rice holes stacked up in it that we're going to put in this pen here. So the, the general practice here is to uh, put salt, mix salt in with the rice holes and that keeps down uh, the smell and the bacteria. bacteria. 
but I had the idea to use charcoal. Uh, I think it'll do the same thing. It's kind of an experiment. It's like my idea. Um, I'm going to line the bottom of the pin here uh, underneath the rice holes with an inch or two. Uh, I think both, both this pin and this pin over here uh, we used about a sack of charcoal, right, Lum? Yeah, you used all my charcoal. Huh? You used all my charcoal. Not all. Not two all. sacks. Two sacks. And mm -hmm. then more. Yeah. I don't have well, charcoal to we, we can make more charcoal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, yes. because the rice holes are eventually going to be mulched. I'm going then, to ask you something. Well, yeah, what, 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 what are you going to ask me, Lum? What is the purpose of the charcoal? Why you put charcoal? The purpose of the charcoal is to keep down the smell. Mm -hmm. But were you were going to use feed proof? They said no smell. Well, I never. I, I I take what a feed company says in their sales pitch with a grain of salt. Yeah, the, I, I the almost salt. I, oh yeah, I almost never. That means I don't believe what they say. The salt 100%. is for the bacteria. Oh, you don't. You're, you're not understanding what I'm saying. Okay. Don't upload that. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna upload it. <laughs> what I what I mean, love, is that just because a feed company says something, doesn't mean it's true. They want to sell their feed, so they're gonna gold plate it, so that it sounds like the best thing in the world. Right? I don't know. Oh, uh, I I know. I don't know. So. As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by uh, the boss lady here, is that the common practice is to mix in salt with the rice holes. But we're going to be uh, uh, rotating these rice holes out every three or four months and composting them. And I don't want the salt build up uh, in the fields because the compost we're going to put in the fields uh, to help the soil and for fertilizer. And over two or three years, four years, I'm thinking that the salt uh, will just build up. And it won't all leach out. It won't leach down. It won't run off. And then, we'll, then our fields will be contaminated with the salt. So the carbon and the charcoal uh, will help a good bit on the soil uh, as it's composted. Uh, hopefully it won't interfere much with the composting process. If it does, we'll just add more manure. Uh, I don't think anything can uh, combat uh, the, uh, the bacteria in a manure if you use enough of it. So that's kind of my little plan. That's what I came up with. Um, the rice holes are, are going to be about 12-14 uh, inches deep. Uh, they'll absorb the urine. Uh, we're going to come along with a little pooper scooper and uh, scoop out the uh, the well, let's see. Well, the manure, uh, the logs, let's put it that way. We're going to scoop those out and put them on the compost pile. And we're going to have to build some kind of a retainer uh, to keep the runoff from going down into our neighbor's fields because that was always the concern. Uh, but we bought that one little field there. So uh, hopefully... Uh, we can get a good wall built down there to keep the runoff from just uh, going merrily along and, and uh, going into the rice fields. You'd think they'd like it in the rice fields, but uh, I guess they don't. Well, I'm going to finish this video up. We've got the rice straw in there, but it's not enough. I'm going to go back and get one more pickup load of rice straw. I wanted to come up uh, and cover that drain and come up almost level with the feeder here. So we need a, in spots, we need another foot in each pin going back to six inches or so. I'm stepping down in here because there's that cement still a bit fresh in that feeder. I wanted to show this other side here. This is what they're going to look like. We're going to put a, a box right in here, a farrowing box 
for the piglets to escape from their mother when she's getting up and laying down. And we're going to do the same thing on this other side as well. And we're going to use a smooth uh, round bar, form bar. Uh, what we've been using uh, for building and for the gates here uh, is this kind. And it's got these, it's got little little notches on it. And that can break their skin if they rub against it too hard. So, I'll wrap this one up. This is what the pins are going to look like. We're going to eventually double up most of these pins here. Uh, we're going to do those two there. And we're going to do these two up here. Or these three next. So, we're going to make uh, an additional ten pins. If that's what the that's what it's going to turn out to be. So wrapping this one up. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, please share, and subscribe.